happy, happy Friday to one and all out there in Trivia Nation. This is your boy, Money Flippin' Matt Richards, your electronic friend, celebrating the week's end. We stuck it out, we worked hard, and we made it to another Friday. But that's not all today is. No, it's not. We understand that today is also World Nutella Day. I don't know whether that's a promotional thing or something the United Nations declared, but we heard about it and we like Nutella, so uh, look for a question or two about it tonight. You know, just be on the lookout for something hazelnutty. Anybody? Who likes Nutella? Let me know if you like it in the chat. I want to see who the Nutella heads are out there in HQ land. Loving the Nutella. Yum, yum, yum. Some, some people don't like it, I guess. Different strokes for different folks. All right, well, I expect you're here for the questions. And we've got our usual 12 tricky ones leading you down the perplexing path through the trivia timber lands. Well, get your freak on. Ending at a prize pot worth a tasty $5,000. One, two, three, four, five, five thousand dollars. Gonna be split among the winners of tonight's game, babies. Right now we got about 35 players in the VIP. We need a hundred to do it, so do it. <laughs> Cause the VIP pot, as always, is fifteen hundred dollars, which is gonna be split among the winning ticket holders. Long as we sell a hundred, like I said, but hurry up, cause we're not gonna sell more than a hundred and fifty. Get forty-one. Slow trickle in there tonight. Oh, 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 oh. Also, we've got a super special charity to spotlight tonight. You ready to hear about it? Well, I'm gonna tell you. It's Muttville Senior Dog Rescue, giving senior dogs a second chance at life in California's Bay Area. Yeah, yeah, we are. Since its founding in 2007, Muttville has grown into a nationally recognized organization, saving around a thousand dogs a year through the hard work of hundreds of volunteers, helping with everything from transport to medical exams to administration. I love the pups. With a small paid staff, their groundbreaking approach to animal rescue and fostering is accomplished with a cage-free facility, on-site veterinary suite, and a hospice program. Innovations that have been lauded and emulated around the country. So HQ is saying, Bravo! Bravo! Bonissimo! And making a donation to Muttville Senior Dog Rescue. That's right. And you guys can look them up and hook them up because they are at muttville.org. M-U-T-T-V-I-L-L-E-D-O-T. -T -T no, I'm kidding. Dot O-R-G. And if you can't foster a dog, then you know somebody that can. Find a friend, okay? Well, what do you say we plug into this amp and see what chords come out of this uh, guitar? The moment has arrived. You can hear it in the air tonight. I can feel it quizzing in the air tonight. The still silence of nerds focusing on the screens in front of them. Hmm, scrumptious. Whatever happened to you during the work week, I hope it's prepared you for the next few minutes because the fastest, toughest test of recall and reasoning in the business. And now, there's nothing to it but to HQ it with question number one. Q1, which of these books was published several centuries ago? Ready Player One, The Fault in Our Stars, or Don Quixote? What's it gonna be? Okay, yeah, we went a little easy here, all right? But don't get too confident. Two of these still have living authors and are around a decade old. But Miguel de Cervantes cranked out Quixote in the early 1600s, often called the first modern novel. 41,169 of you got it right. Don Quixote! That was the answer to Q1. Now, question number two is upon us. Q2, the first move in Scrabble must touch what part of the board? Center, corner, or edge? Scrabble. I play Scrabble so long. Even one game will teach you a fundamental law of the Scrabble verse. You have to work towards those tasty triple word scores on the outskirts, okay? Starting from that black star, dead center. 
40,284 players got it right. They knew it was the center all along, but you get double word score for the center. So go for it. Yay. All right, Q3 in the place to be. Nutella was sued in the US for ads implying it was what? American made, healthy or safe for dogs. Don't get us wrong, we love Nutella. But you're stepping over a line if you gush about fresh ingredients like hazelnuts and skim milk. It ain't all that healthy. Check the ingredients before the commercials. 37,035 players got it right. They were like, we're so healthy. And then people were like, nah. Let me spread some hazelnut on this celery. Q4, knocking on your door. Reddit users recently collaborated to raise the price of the stock with which symbol? GM, GME, or GS? If you ever wanted to see a bunch of rich people call something corrupt, this was your main event. Since people buying GameStop angered those betting against it. That's on uh, stock GME, babies. Yeah, oh. <laughs> 30,798 of y'all knew that. GM is General Motors and GS is Goldman Sachs. Shout out to my Robin Hoods out there. Ooh wee. Dogecoin to the moon! Oh! Q5, all the way live for the children. What Muppet delights and baffles audiences with his boomerang fish act? Crazy Harry, Gonzo the Great, or Lou Zealand? Talking about the Muppet. You don't get on The Muppet Show by acting normal. And one of the great examples was the amazing flying and returning fish act performed by Lou Zealand. I think we got a picture of him. 19,259. We got a picture of New, Ze New Zealand. That's him. Throwing the and catching it back. Gonzo is more of a daredevil. Question number six. And it goes a little something like this. Which of these universities is not historically black? Hampton University, Hollins University, or Howard University? All righty, many Americans have been educated in the rich tradition of historically black colleges and universities. And outside of those, a lot of good's been done by all women's universities, such as Hollins. I guess schools in general do pretty good work. 20,043 20, in the place to be. Got that right. Woo woo. Hollins University is the answer that we were looking for. Question number seven, babies. Let's get it. Outside of zoology or zoology, where would you have typically found a calathus? Arms, head, or feet? I remember I would say zoology all the time. And then this girl corrected me. She's like, it's zoology. And I was like, you're annoying. <laughs> all right, there's the humerus, sternum, radius, all kinds of things. But a calathus isn't even a bone. It's something you use and kind of wear. And that's because it's a Greek basket you carry on your head. Hopefully you've been using your head here so far. Oh my gosh, y'all was thinking of a callus. That's on your feet. Yeah. 9,531 of you got it right. A little savage on that one, babies. Five more questions until the jackpot. Onward. Q8. Oh my God, Nate, what's up, dog? I ain't seen you in a minute. It's been a long time. Shouldn't have left you without a strong quiz to tap to. Q8. Who has not won a Razzie Redeemer Award given for impressive career comebacks? Mel Gibson, Eddie Murphy, or Will Smith? A Razzie Redeemer Award. Yes, there is a Razzie that's an honor to receive given for getting back on the track. Directing Hacksaw Ridge got Mel Gibson his and playing Dolomite was Eddie's comeback. But two-time nominee Will Smith is still waiting. Keep trying, Will. Getting jiggy with it. Na 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 na. Oh! That's another savage question! Yeah! 
6,091 players got it right. Will Smith. Question number nine. Hope you're feeling fine. Where is the only country to currently have both a female prime minister and president? Asia, Europe, or Africa? All right, girl power is busting out all over the world lately. And as of January, women have taken over both leadership positions in Estonia, over in Europe. Boom! Goes the dynamite. Sorry, New Zealand. You can only be so cool. 9,053 players got it right. Europe, for Q9. Yeah. Question number 10, my friends. Time to get it in. The effect that lets people walk on hot coals with damp feet is named for a scientist from where? England, Germany, or Russia? Now, we don't recommend you try this without expert supervision, of course. You don't want to be walking on coals, burning your, your feet. That's just silly. But the boiling layer of vapor that acts as a protective force field is the Liedenfrost effect. Johann Liedenfrost. He was from Germany. Again, if you're gonna do it, make sure you got a scientist to help you, okay? 6,574 players got it right. Germany, babies! Guten Abend! Guten Abend, indeed. Question number 11, or 1T1 if you're down for fun. All dogs go to heaven. Abbreviated, the trigonometry ratio defined as opposite over adjacent is a synonym for what? Bed, beige, or misdeed? All right, Trig has synonyms for all these. Opposite over hypotenuse gives you a misdeed in the form of sin or sign, and uh, adjacent over opposite is cot, C-O-T, but its reciprocal is a uh, tangent or tan, just like beige. 6,045 got it right. That means 6,045 are moving on to the final question of the game. Woo! Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Final round. Question 12. What is that smell? Smells like money. Making it rain. Ha! Ah, that's dirty. Okay. Q12. What work of art is currently located in the nation where Nutella was invented? Michelangelo's David, Mona Lisa, or Sistine Madonna? Hmm? A lot of people think Nutella's German. I guess because they do chocolate so well. But look at the word. Nutella. That's Italian. And if you make it to Florence, Italy, don't miss your chance to see Michelangelo's David. We have 2,644 winners of HQ Trivia. Make it rain! Woo! Oh, you cut to the graphic when I made it rain, so I threw the money up for nothing. <laughs> Who's gonna pick all this up? Me. I am. Twerk! Twerk! A dollar ninety going out to all you cool cats and kittens out there. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. That is what I'm talking about, son. Flearn, David, eighty-eight, twenty-four, B Migs, elderly woe, elevator do, Elden Lipic, Catalina, one, two, three, Nia Mori, Sophia Catter, Miss. Okay, nope. Mordo won. Chris. All who won, but if you had a spun, we hope you had fun. It was great having you here, and we do this every night. So come on by and give it another try. Because tries are the atoms that make up success. Mm -hmm. You like that? I like that. That feels good. And remember that charity I told you all about. Muttville Senior Dog Rescue, saving senior dogs and putting them in loving homes, okay? They're at muttville.org if you'd like to help out. Look them up, hook them up, woof woof. Until next time, I'm Matt Richards asking, with all the comedy clubs that are closed down, what do you think hecklers are doing?
Huh? Just standing in that kitchen telling a can of peaches what's wrong with it. And don't get me started on the syrup. <laughs>